think uh, an LS. Man, dumb. I do. Fuck the like. I don't know what these coaches and analysts are doing. Like, I don't know if it's just ego talking, but like, I, I really just don't know. Like, who are, who are these it's coaches and talking. who are these analysts? And like, what are their like, what what are their qualifications to have the, these positions? So so for, for, for example, Anu Anu has uh, Zig coaching right now, right? And so Zig has maybe not the scholar of league but definitely has been around for a okay. very 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 long time and has that okay. experience to back it that's up, that's right? a fine one what about the other teams though uh i don't know who the coach is 100 thieves next uh, uh well it was max. fallen bandit and oh, then well, now it's yeah it's basically then... max right i think i mean he God said damn. this on stream i'm not i'm not you know it's not it's it's basically max uh, but not okay. in an official sense so i don't know uh, but like what you're saying is that see I, I would love to do like I thought Kelsey uh, was coaching Academy. So the chat shit, saying shit. Kelsey's doing Academy, but Hundred Thieves next mm -hmm. is Max. But like the, okay, the thing that you're go. asking is something I've molded about for a very long time. It drives me up a fucking wall when people uh give credence to a title as if it means anything. Title doesn't tell you shit, dude. Degon, like you you could have been called no offense to you, you could have been called assistant coach if someone just decides to. Correct. It doesn't mean that you're bestowed with uh, a game understanding. That was there. Correct. If you're if you're like if if you're six years, uh, you know, six hundred games deep, Soraka one trick pony, and you can't get out of gold one. <laughs> I, I, I don't trust what you're seeing in the game. Like, I, you know, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, holy please. moly, man! I, I need some credentials. Like. Like I'm fine with Zig's be Zig being a coach, right? Because at least he's played at the pro level before. He spent like years within pro teams. But like these like random people that are like, no, I've I've watched some league. It's like, well, have you have you learned anything from the league that you've watched? Can you apply it at all? It's like, no, no, I'm actually just awful at the game. It's like, well, uh, fuck, like I don't care then. Like, what the hell it's is so, this? It's 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 so uh, oh man, I could mold about this for days. I could mold, and it just it feels like it doesn't matter because everyone can just hide. Because there's yeah. no public, has does does no one fucking like rub their head or like their chin or whatever? Like, why is there no public content from any of these people? Why can't anyone find anything on them? Why are so many of their OPGGs hidden or their their Blitz GGs? Why like, <clears throat> why, why can't we find anything? Like, does 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 that not raise red flags for people? <laughs> Now, also, um, I am not of the school of thought that you can be uh, bad at the game and actually, uh, I know there's a lot of people that say this, I'm not of this school of thought. It is impossible to lose to certain MMRs if you have the smallest idea of what's yeah, going on in the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. I you always, cannot I always hated that. play, you cannot play jungle, fucking mid malfight, support main, whatever, and not just fall into yep. high MMR. You, you can't. It's just not possible, man. That is not a defense. But so many people hide behind it, man. It's so, oh, so weird. I always had like see like I'm always gonna have that opinion, obviously, because I was like a player, oh, right? God. So but I just don't understand how you can be like like smart about the game. And it's like, yeah, but like just I just can't get out of like plat. Like what? Like how I'm can you be smart on the about the game? Guys. Like, you guys no. are killing me I, right I, now. The, the, the thing... <laughs> Jesus Christ. The the thing that I, I talked about this with a uh, hotshot right and in the conversation I had with him in May it's fine if you don't actively play and you you don't climb right but if you make it a point to play and then you still can't climb then something's going on. You what do you what think I mean? the threshold like, should be? Like how high, how high do you think the people should climb? I master. Yeah, I, I, I think I if you can why. ebb and flow, if you can ebb and flow out of like master then yeah like i don't know one, one of the one of the people i always thought um was was more close to like having an idea of what was going on i don't uh i, I actually don't know where he is right now um his name was croissant but he played like oh, Chris is a, uh, he's he's a team team liquid. okay okay yeah, so um yeah uh he I, th I think he was like phil right at like master gm level yep yeah um Grissan is regarded yeah. as one of the most knowledgeable coaches. The extraction of that knowledge, up to debate, but one of the most knowledgeable coaches. He was on uh, Optic for a while, so that was... Mm -hmm. uh, and I think he moved on... I don't remember why he moved on. I don't remember what the tweet was, but he, he was on Optic for a little while, and we saw Optic's results, right? It was constantly barely playoffs, but most of the time not. Oh man, I I wish we we uh because Max is um 
Max is very outspoken about this topic right now, right? Because he just recently went back to North America, but he's been talking to so many people um, mm-hmm. in NA, uh, where you know he was in Korea for two and a half, uh, two and a half years, um, and he essentially shadowed me. Uh, he, you know, got to experience Korean pro house as well as like Western scrims and stuff, boot camps and whatnot. Um, mm-hmm. But now he's talking about so much. So like, it would be a really good video or whatever to to have his thoughts on all of this because i know he's molding about it in all the co-streams and the thing that's so concerning is like lost shopkeeper how is this a thing you know to 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 the severity that it is what are people doing on what are people doing on team man hey all i'm saying is i tweeted at you (laughs) like i i I tweeted at you some lpl shit like i'm telling you over there we got the double serrated dirk jace so it's rough. It's rough around no. the world. Like so here's the other thing, by the way. It's not even it's not even just us molding about crazy. this. You can find um you can find the interview with the shy that was translated about uh coaching because the shy holds the same standard. Um the the coach should be able to actually play with the players. Um I think is like a verbatim translation. Um there's also a, a translated segment by Apto uh on one of his streams. I think I tweeted it out, um, where Apto went hard at coaches. Um, and basically said the same thing as the shy. You should be able to play with the players because if you can't play with the players, then how can you demonstrate to them what it is that you're trying to get them to do? Um, and like all this other stuff. And, oh man, it's just really weird. And I, I just hope more and more people start coming out with stuff like this. I know that, um, the DRX players have a similar standard because CV Max is like, um, he's like D2 in Korea, I think. CV Max, but like that scales, uh, you know. Uh, the scaling so, I mean, there, D2, <laughs> the scaling Korean Dude, D2. and CV Max was a player. I mean, I just feel like people that were players are just the best coaches, like straight up. Like, I mean, look, if Jack, you were able Jack, Jack to like came Challenger, back. if you're... Vigar yeah. V2, Vigar V2, yeah. Challenger EU West. Um, yeah. You know, like, I, I, I don't think it, it is a coincidence um, that this is... How, like I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's I, just I the know. rarity. It's a rarity finding those caliber <laughs> of coaches and players. Again, think about North America. You had to go all the way to the yeah. LCS to get your coach for Team Liquid. And uh, Jat, yeah. Jat, all, actually, all the analysts are like Diamond Master uh, and, yeah. and above. And, and Jat had to do that. Uh, I, I don't think he minds me saying this. He had to do that with Carpal Tunnel. Like he could only play a limited amount of games because of like wrist damage from playing Mm -hmm. so much. So, uh, but that's where he has to go. You either have to go to the LCS analysts, you go to Dom, you go to who else is retired or has the veteran and respect factor that also has the game knowledge could package it all the way in. Like I just, there just is a lack of that here in North America. The, the other thing is that being high MMR does not necessarily mean that you're also uh, accredited to coach because there's a lot of challenger and pro players that are dumb as shit. Um, yeah. So the idea that they should ever have a title position that then gives them authority to have influence over others' lives is insane. <laughs>